Hey guys, it's Miss Perk. Um, I'd like to welcome you to week one of our digital learning. I'm going to take the time today to uh, make sure that everyone is clear what the expectations are and what lessons you are to complete for the week. Um, each week you will have a lesson that is approximately 120 minutes long. And for the tech students, you will have extension activities um, added on with those lessons. So let's get started. Um, I have two tabs that are important during this time period. One is called the digital learning lesson. The other is called astronomy. So each week on the digital learning page, this is just a title here, I will post the lesson plan written on paper. Um, you can go ahead and print that or you can save it to your device for further reference. Going back to that page, I also will have a set of video directions. So the video you're seeing now, you will see it on a button titled Miss Perk Video Directions and for the date that it applies to. Okay, so let's talk about the lessons um, that you will have for today. Um, every science, um, every Thursday is our science lesson. So you will spend your day working on science. So the first activity that you do is a warm-up activity. Um, this will be located on a Google Doc and will center around lessons or topics that we've already covered. Last week while I was out, the activities that were given to you were um, early astronomers and the universe. So these questions, there are 10 questions here, they're each worth 10 points. Um, you will go ahead and write, type in your first and last name. You must do this in order to get credit. Um, you can use the notes that you took during the activity last week to answer the following questions. Then go ahead and submit. Um, this should take about 15 minutes long. Okay, I'm going to go back to that page. Um, the next activity is called Structures of the Universe. Um, this one will involve you using your online textbook. Um, this is a first time for us. Um, all of the classes are set up in HMH Ed, and they can be found in ClassLink. So let's go ahead and go to the ClassLink. Okay, and here on the second row, you find a button called HMH Ed. Here's a little picture. It's a little smiley face. Um, go ahead and click it. And the one thing that you need to be looking for on this page uh, is the word assignment. So once you click on it, it will, it will recognize that it is you. You can see some of the sections of our textbook, but go to the word assignments. Okay, I have um, sent out assignments to each of the classes. The first one, you can see that the due date, you have two weeks to get this complete. Um, the sooner you start it, the better. Um, this is called Structure of the Universe. Um, it involves about 11 slides. There is a speaker function um, that you can listen to what the page is saying, and there are questions along the way. Um, don't rush through this. Take your time and really absorb the content. Um, it will tell me um, if you're working on it, which is you're in progress, uh, if I'm ready to grade it, and whether you've completed it. Um, so that's a lot of fun with that. Um, there's lots of cool resources I've just discovered that are in your online textbook. Okay, so that's the second activity, and that should take you about 30 minutes. Okay, next, how big is big? So we're going to go back to the class website, and let's click on the astronomy page. Okay, here's the astronomy page. How big is big graphic organizer is the next activity. I'm going to click on it so you can recognize it. If you were at school last week, um, one day the sub gave you this activity. It says, where do you fit into the universe? There are a number of words here that relate to all of our um, starting from you to towns and cities and everything extending out into the universe. You may have filled this out and not really thought much about it. So I'd like you to take that activity today, whether you have words on it or not, and go, I'm going to go back to the class webpage, and I want you to go to the video that's located right next to it, right to the right. It's called Mind Blowing. It's pretty amazing. As you watch this, um, it is actually going through the different stations of our universe from really small, like a grain of sand, to way to the point to we get to the universe. So I'd like you to have your sheet right next to it, your organizer, have your sheet right next to it. And as you're watching the video, look at the words you've chosen and maybe perhaps you're going to change your mind to make that a correct sequence. Okay, this activity, how big is big is, should take you about 45 minutes. 
All right, I'm going to go back to the class website. Um, the fourth activity, um, you will be using Quizlet. So everything that I um, am giving you, I will have a date. So you can see this is 319. This is for today. Um, the Quizlet, this is our final activity. Unless you are a, well, no, not the final activity. Sorry. Here is Quizlet. You're going to open up Quizlet. If you are not logged in, you will need to log in. There are 12 vocabulary cards that are important in understanding the topics in this unit. The first activity you're going to do is called flashcards. So I would like you, if you have some index cards at home, um, or if you don't, you can just cut up pieces of paper in squares. I would like you to go through each one of the cards. You're going to, just like it's listed here, you'll write the name of the astronomer or what the vocabulary word is, then click on it to get the definition on the back. I want you to make a hand set of cards. You can get a little rubber band or a paper clip and keep those together. This will be a good review, review tool as we are going through the unit before we have any assessments. Okay, flashcards, number one. The next one is game. So that's practice with these words. So if you go to play, there's a matching game and there's also a gravity game. Well, I would take a few minutes and play each one of those or one if you if you like just one. Um, from there, it says create a test. Click on the test fit feature and you can see there's only three questions here. But go ahead at the bottom, I'm going to scroll down here. Actually, maybe I need to go down a little further. Get rid of this. Here are some options. Click on the word options. And what do you want to be part of your test using those 12 vocabulary words? For me, maybe not written. Maybe you can do some matching, some multiple choice, true and false, and even get some images. Then you click create new test and go ahead and take it and see how you do. This Quizlet will be available for you to use multiple times. So as we're going through the unit, you can go back and review. Okay, the final fun activity that we're doing is called the Moon Observation Log. Um, the Moon is one of our celestial objects, and the Moon revolves around the Earth every 30 days, approximately every 30 days. So I would like you to print, hopefully many of you have printers, or even take a picture of it. This is our Moon Observation Log. Starting today, each night, I would like you to record the date, in the time that you make your observation of the moon and go ahead and draw what you are seeing. And then write the um, moon phase name below. I will put um, a picture of the moon phases on the astronomy page of the website so you can look at your picture and compare it to the ones um, that are on the picture on the web page. So that is your final thing. That should take about 10 minutes. So in just recapping, you're going to do the warm up, 15 minutes. Okay, the next one is Structure of the Universe. This is using your textbook, HMH Ed, and that should take approximately 30 minutes. Uh, third activity, How Big is Big? The Graphic Organizer. That should take you approximately 45 minutes. Four, the Vocabulary Quizlet. That involves making the flashcards, the games, and the tests. That should take about 45 minutes. The final activity, the moon observation log, on day one it should take you about 10 minutes because this is the first time you're doing this, but as the days go on it should probably take you only about five minutes. Um, by the way, on Thursdays I will be available for any emails or questions you have from 10 to 2 p.m. I also want to um, share with you that I would like you to get in the habit um, not make it for your parents, but for you to get in the habit of checking your own personal emails every day. I am going to create some Google Classrooms uh, for each of our classes so you can submit work, um, things that are not in a Google Doc that or in Illuminate. Um, and the final thing, those of you who are taking the recovery test, uh, that will be available um, starting at 10 a.m. on Thursday, and that will be open for about a two-hour window. So you want to make sure you get in on time. At any rate, I miss you guys, and, um, you know, let's take online learning serious. Um, I want to do my best to give you the best lessons I can possibly give you, and um, we'll stay in touch. Uh, I have a Zoom app that we can have some video conferencing. So I will add a couple of components each week. By the way, if any of you have Instagram, uh, my uh, channel on Instagram is SCI, S-C-I, 
teach, T-E-A-C-H, one, two, A-B. I actually took a picture for you there today. If you don't have that element of social media, um, don't worry. You'll see me personally every week in videos, and uh, I'll make it as fun as possible. Miss you guys, and good luck with week one. Okay.